Hello everyone, my name is Michael Hart and today I'm going to be taking you through NetSuite CRM and showing you some of its key features. I'd like to start by saying that in my career in sales, I've had access to a lot of different CRMs and the thing that really impresses me about NetSuite is the focus that it has on your KPIs and the visibility it provides around um, how you're tracking against target. It's this sort of visibility that really drives the outcome in sales and one of the things that makes NetSuite a really great tool. So when you log into NetSuite, the first thing you're gonna see is your dashboard. Uh, over here uh, is a list of reminders um, with some of the key things that you need to get done. So for example, you can see um, the open opportunities to close, new customers that have been onboarded, invoices over 30 days that are above 50K, tasks to complete, calls to complete, and invitations to respond to. You can click on any of these links to be taken to directly to the tasks, and it just makes uh, doing your job a lot easier. At the top is uh, a number of tiles, and these provide links to key information um, that's needed for your daily uh, jobs. Uh, things such as uh, your sales forecast, open estimates that are out with customers, open sales orders, and open invoices. If you need quick access to your sales forecast, all you need to do is click on it, and you're taken directly to the data. Over here is a uh, KPI meter with a gauge that essentially shows how you're tracking against target, but this can be set to a number of KPIs such as new leads, new business, and new customers. And uh, these KPIs are completely customizable. When we set NetSuite up for your business, we understand uh, the key KPIs that are important to you and tailor the dashboard to suit. Moving down, you can see a portlet with the uh, key performance indicators for this role. Um, and it basically shows the month on month project progress for things such as sales, new leads, new business, and new customers. If you click onto any of these metrics, you're taken to all of the deals that make up that figure. Moving down, the below graph gives us a monthly sales trend, and this can be sent to see the yearly trend, quarterly, monthly, and even daily. The chart below gives a breakdown of your key sales numbers, and um, you can see that with uh, total sales of 181,000, 11K of this is new business. There's 16 orders with an average deal size of 12K. At the very bottom is a list of available inventory on hand. Very useful if you're a product selling business. You can see where the inventory is located, what's available on hand, and essentially what's available for you to sell. Another thing to note that all of the information uh, um, that you're seeing in this dashboard is live and as soon as it's updated by uh, any member of your team, it's available for everyone else in your team to see. Now, one of the things to get your head around and to really be able to manage as a sales rep is your sales pipeline. And when you click up on here on opportunities overview, you're taken to a similar dashboard, but this is uh, specifically made for your opportunities. You can see your uh, top 10 deals in the pipeline, uh, top 10 open estimates. At the top is a, a KPI portlet um, with some of the key metrics. Below is an overview of the entire pipeline. And when you click on maximize, uh, you're taken to a view of all of your deals. Uh, you can see uh, the uh, sales stage of each deal or the opportunity status. Again, this is completely customizable um, to the sales stages that you use internally. 
you can see the expected close date, uh, the forecast type, and the projected total. Now let's click into an actual opportunity to see where a lot of the work gets done. Here's the actual record. Uh, you can see it's for Grocon Construction Company. Uh, the deal is currently in negotiation at a 75% probability. Here's the expected total. You can see what it's for. And when you click on communication, you can see all of your uh, discussions and activities that have been logged for this customer. You can also see any files um, that have been used in presentations and, and upload them to the system. And if uh, you need to email the customer, you can do it directly from CRM by clicking on email. This basically takes you to uh, an area where you can draft up your message and you can send this directly from NetSuite. Another thing as a sales rep that's important is having all of the relevant information available on a customer before you reach out and have that discussion. And we do this by something called a customer 360 degree view. Now, when you move up here to the global search bar, you can search for any customer, JB Electronics. And this pulls up all of the information pertaining to that record. It brings up the uh, customer details. You can see it's for JB Electronics Corporation. You can get an overview of all of their contact details, their annual revenue, and below you can see all of the uh, historical transactions that they've had with us since we brought them on board. Now when you click up on here on Customer 360, this gives you a number of things. Basically all of the touch points that we've had with this customer. A customer scorecard shows the number of orders that they've had, fulfillments, invoices, any returns, uh, last year's sales compared to the year-to-date sales, and uh, net sales invoices. Now the last thing that I'm going to show you is basically how you're going to keep track and manage all of your activities and follow-ups that you have on a daily basis. Up here you can see the activities bar and when you click on activities overview it provides a calendar view um, of all of your activities on a daily basis. All you need to do is to click on an entry you're taken directly to the activity or task and uh, you're ready to go. And that gives you a brief introduction into NetSuite CRM and how you can manage your sales process. If you have any questions around NetSuite CRM for your business, happy for you to reach out to me at the contact details below. And we look forward to catching up. Thanks for your time today.